So Bob's waving me over and he's oh he's he's doing dances and stuff now. Now it's probably pretty something or something pretty it's good. It's something really good. Really good? <laughs> Look. Oh. <laughs> oh I don't even know what it is. It just come up eighty two. going on everyone we're gonna hit the old skeleton key lot again you probably remember it it's where I found my skeleton key the really really huge lot so I guess we'll just call it skeleton key lot but uh yeah no bets today it's just me and Bob Jojo had to fish and as last week's video you know what he's doing now but <laughs> We're going to try some different settings. I guess Bob found some different settings that we're going to put in the machines. Uh, it's more of a, I guess, relic setting and see how it works out. Maybe to get us some deeper targets. Might be. But you'll know when we know, and we'll see you on the first one later. So this was like literally like right on top. I thought it was a uh, just some kind of part and I uh, kind of brush the dirt off a little bit I'm seeing writing so let me clean it up a little more and see what she says I uh, cleaned it up it actually says H Diston and Sons Philadelphia I think it's a um, off of a hand sole this would go through the handle screw into another part I believe that's what that is. Pretty cool. Looks silver. Bob just called me over. Is that a button? I don't know. Dude, that's a button. Ooh, that's silver. Oh no, it's something else. It's a lid? Yeah. It's got that initials like Wrigley's uh -oh. belt buckle. Oh, Mr. Well, Wrigley's over here too. It's heavy. All right, let's, let's clean it up. We'll get back with you guys. Well, we cleaned it up. I don't see any writing on it besides the uh, cursive writing, script writing that's on it. I don't even know what it says, which way to hold it. It definitely, it almost bet it's silver. It's, it's pretty heavy. heavy. There's some like dark patina like silver does. Some kind of like I'll get, lid. I'll get home, I'll tell you if it's silver. It, it used to have a base to it. Cause it looks like it hinges like right back here. I won't move it because usually if I move stuff it breaks, but <laughs> we'll just leave but it alone. We'll just leave it like that, but still pretty good little find. Close to that. Nice. Yeah, I will bet you that's silver. Jeez, you're on the silver today. What the yeah. heck's going on? Right. That new settings paying that off? new settings done got something good <laughs> 30 minutes. Ain't been here 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's silver. It's heavy. Yeah, it's nice. We'll keep on going. All right, just dug this guy up here. Not too sure, but it looks kind of like a bale seal. Real heavy lead or something, but I do see some writing coming through on it. So let me clean it up and see what she is. Get back with you. Well, it's almost impossible to tell what it says, but it's definitely a bale seal. It's an old one, looks like. It has writing on it, but really can't make out what it says I wish I could because it probably dates back pretty far it's probably the biggest one I've found but anyway pretty cool relics coming out of here it's pretty cool it's like the third one I've found that's in right there it's like only half of one but that would be uh, 50 caliber round the lead part still there it has 
Uh, I thought it had something stamped on it. So, yep, that would be a end of a 50 cal round, unshot and fired. Sweet. So I was just taking a break and looked at one of these huge oak trees that's on the property and noticed that it's been hit by lightning. I'll show you. It was probably last year. And you can see where the tree's healing back from the strike. But it goes all the way up the tree. And it actually like blew the bark completely off of this tree. Look at this. That's what lightning does. And the tree actually looks like it survived. But man oh man. You can see inside there it's starting to heal back. But wow. Incredible. A lot of power there. Straight to the ground. Not too sure what this is. This is yeah. Past my hand now. About nine inches. Hold it out here. Not sure. I want to say it's like a clock winding key. Definitely old. Let me clean it up a little bit. And I'll get back with, back with you. That was, definitely looks like a old clock winder. It's got that slight slot in there, and I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. That's what I'm gonna call it for now. If it's something different, let me know. But definitely old. It was down there. I was going to record the live dig, but it was an 8082, like a quarter signal. I don't know what it is yet. It just came out of the hole. I'm going to clean it up and get back with you on this one. Bob dug it up. Alright, this is really cool. Figured out what it was. It's got a little tang on the back with a little hole through it. We got looking at it, trying to read it. Noticed everything's backwards. Some of you might know what it is already, but that is like an engineering seal. It's a stamp seal from 1881, or I'm sorry, 1891. That all might backwards. be an eight. Yeah, that's an eight. Yeah, it's definitely. It's an 1880 or 1891 seal. Yeah, it's and nice. it says Homeland on that side. I can't make out. Maybe we can get some ink when or I get home. I'll we'll stamp it, it on something. Put it on a mirror or something, and it'll. Yeah, there you go. That's cool. That's the best miner of the day. It's heavy. Yeah. Congrats on that. That new uh, that new mode, setting man, is it's doing, doing it good. Dude. I had to switch back. I didn't like it. But man, I don't think you should switch back. Uh, You're doing I'm, I'm good. Use it. <laughs> nice. Well, finally found a weedy sitting right there. One cent. Oh, she's an old one. Nineteen seventeen. Don't know if you can see that. Very cool. Take that. So Bob's waving me over, and he's oh, he's he's doing dances and stuff now. Now, it's probably pretty something, or something pretty it's good. It's something really good. Really good? <laughs> Look. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't even know what it is. What? It's just come up 82 oh my on the God. sport. It's a quarter? I hope it's half. It's nope, a quarter. it's a quarter. Oh, it's a silver quarter, though. Oh. Look that. at that. Wow. Uh, What's the date on there? 57. 57. Yep. Yeah. Dang. Told you there was something out here. Uh, <laughs> silver smile. There it is. Bing. <laughs> Bing. Lucky dog. Yeah, he kept saying Man, I there's like something that new setting. Yeah. That thing's picking it up good. Yeah, I'm, it's 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 definitely different. different. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Huh? <laughs>
I mean, silver's proof right there. So first silver out of this lot, actually. Well, first silver coin out of the lot, which, hey, that's good news. We'll see you on the next one. Well, we're done. Storm's rolling in right over there. It's getting pretty cloudy. But we didn't do too bad. We went, oh, like we always do, relic hunting. And everything else just comes with it. But I don't know what Bob's doing. He's dumped out all of his chains. Dumped out all my chains. <laughs> he dumped his sandcastle out and all of his chains came out too. <laughs> God. We'll start with my stuff. <laughs> we'll start with my stuff here. I didn't find a whole lot, but uh, found the 50 cal. This little valve is pretty cool. I think this is a uh, one of those key guards, maybe to a, some type type of skeleton round key or something. Two cent. This has writing on it. I don't know what it is. What it says. It's real crusty. Did find the, the watch or the uh, clock winding key, which is pretty cool. That's one of my best finds. The uh, bell seal, which I couldn't read anything on it either. The saw medallion, that was pretty cool. It's missing the other half. And a 1917 wheat scent. That's my stuff. Bob's collection going on here. Of course the normal shotgun shells, bullet casings. Found a little bit of clad. The Model T guy and old lead ball. This uh, homeopathic remedies cap. That's pretty cool. Some little latch or buckle or something. It has a writing on it up there at the top. I don't know what it says. The door. What does that say? I don't know. Has some writing up there. Big old lead piece. And no episode's complete without one of these guys. It's a spoon. Uh, he found this first. It's like a medallion. And then way across the lot, he found the other half, which is crazy. I mean, it was probably two acres apart. That was pretty cool. A little rivet. Uh, cancer medallion uh, I guess the uh, what do they call those the zodiacs yeah or the yeah. horoscope you know cancer thing uh, I don't know what that is a little piece of a, a pocket knife the 1957 quarter that's cool he found a weedy 1925 25 yeah that might be a key date. Is it 25 or 28? It's 25. Yep, 25. Yeah, glasses that on. doesn't sound too common to me. <laughs> 1925. And what I think is the best find of the day is this, uh, I think it's an engineering stamp. It says 1891 backwards. Of course, it would transfer onto paper. That's that raised seal that you would get in like building plans and stuff but this one's from 1891 which is really cool so that's the find of the day and of course this little guy that's silver that's sterling I know it is I mean you see it up next to that quarter it does have some like little fancy scroll writing on it it hinges it hinges at the back right there so there must have been another piece that went off to the back of it. But this is probably the top. There's no stamps or anything on it, but I'm pretty sure that's silver. And that's his stuff. And of course, the bag Shoot. of trash. But eh, all in all, pretty good day. Uh, this lot's huge. There's a ton left to do. And there's no telling what else is in here. This is just a relic heaven. Yeah. But anyway, that's it for us. The storm's coming. We're wrapping this thing up, We're getting out of here. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, comment, comment. We love them. Keep them coming. Thanks, everybody. See ya.